Things are crazy right now, folks, and uh, we are gonna distract ourselves by doing stuff that needs doing. That's what we're gonna do. All right, everybody, so we've been trying to really plan out what to do next. We've got so many different things to do with the goats uh, getting ready to kid and winter coming that we've, we've got some planning that we need to sort out. And one of those things is where we're putting the hay and the straw. What are you doing? Day drinking? No, that's not what we're doing today. You're doing that. I'm not doing that. I gotta get stuff done. Okay, so I... I'm gonna day drink and look at goat udders. Great, so I guess I can count you out for some hard work today. Who's surprised? I was gonna say, just today? Get out of here. Anyway, we're gonna get the hay and straw from the top of the hill. We're gonna bring it down here where we're at right now. This is uh, high enough that it's not gonna get wet from any runoff of rain or whatever and low enough away from the driveway that it doesn't look like an eyesore like it does now, which is what I hate. I mean, I get it. We have homesteads, and sometimes homesteads can be an eyesore. It might be something you just have to accept, but I can't accept it, folks. It's gotta be pretty. Yeah. tarp did you get, Courtney? Well, I didn't know how big of one I needed. I mean, there's two layers to this, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, Jesus, I can't even move it it's so big. I mean, go big or go home, right? Yeah, I guess. until I got here with the camera to drop that. I mean, are you even a cinematographer? Uh, I am, but you're not. Had you hustled your butt down here like I told you, get down here, get that shot, you'd have had it. But no, you're up there twiddling around, playing Penny, with some goats. Kenny, I have one speed, it's Mosey. You it really is. Mosey is your only speed. Where's the leaf blower? Oh, you didn't get that. Hey, Tell Emmy. Me I'll do my job. Emmy, can you go get the leaf blower? Yeah. Thanks. Love you. Oh, look. Getting someone else to do your work for you. That's right. I delegate. Camera. Give me that camera. Over there is the barn. And over there is the new area that we just fenced in. If you missed it, go check it out. But uh, this area where we're at now is basically like a central area to those two places. It's the tip of a triangle that's a bit closer than where we had it up there. What are you doing, you weirdo? Gosh, can't do anything serious around you, you know that? Nothing. But our thought is things will be a whole lot easier if we're kinda centrally located here, stuff's not at the top of the driveway, and really? You know, there's warnings on that leaf blower about blowing in people's faces. There's warnings about me too. Uh-huh. I didn't get them when I married you, though. Courtney's going to clear out this entire area of leaves and debris and whatever else, and then we're going to uh, get an area set up in here with some pallets, some bricks, whatever, and get it a little bit up off the ground. Over there, it was on stones, so we didn't have as much of that issue. Over here, we're thinking, let's get it up above the dirt a little bit more. Uh, some of this might actually be temporary, and then we'll come up with a, a better solution later, but. We've got to get things moved and we've got to prepare for winter. I mean, ultimately, that's what this is, is preparing for kidding, preparing for winter. And well, it's a huge distraction from the giant crazy mess that's going on in the world today. Another nice thing about having it down in this area here is because our compost piles are right here, we can actually just take anything that sort of falls off and gets everywhere right into the compost. Like we don't have to try and pull it out of our driveway. We have a stone driveway and all that stuff just kind of gets into the stones and you, you can't get it out. And you know that I'm the only one who's trying to clean that up. 
the only one, because Courtney's not doing it, that's for sure. While Courtney goes and gets bricks for us to put under these pallets, I'm just gonna kinda walk the area, measure it out. Not that it's really that important, but I kinda wanna get the bricks in the general area that they're gonna need to be, so I can just throw the pallets right on top and I'll be all ready to go. I think we got six more to go? I think so. All right, that should be good. I just need one last pallet and then those six. And Emmy, you need to go over there and get me more bricks and come back. Okay, go, everybody go. We're almost done. I'm gonna put these stakes in. These are actually meant for like a, one of those pop-up temporary garage things. They kind of keep it from all flying away. I'm just going to put these in so we can attach a tarp to this because sometimes what happens is our tarp flies away and uh, nobody knows how it happened. No so, one knows. Yeah, no one knows. Yeah. Whew, these are not easy to get in. Of course, I'm probably doing it wrong, huh? Dada, um, can you help me? Help you what? Um, hold that there. Sure. Four feet. You need your saw or are you good? I'm good. Hey, Kenny, um, did you get something out for dinner? Yeah, I put the number for the pizza place on your, uh, on your table. I would like a home cooked meal after my hard day of work. You better go to somebody else's home where they cook it. Maybe I will. Wait, what did you say? I said this tarp is not big enough. It's big enough to go on half of it. That's not big enough. Then you end up with water running through it and on to the other stuff. Why can't we, we just are use going the big to get because we're gonna, big tarp. We're gonna get a tarp that fits it. Then properly. use the big one in the no, middle. You want to use a 30 foot tarp? Yes, I and do. And it's just laying all over the place. It's like you it's, in the house on the couch. It's better than getting my bales of hay wet. You can take that 50 foot football tarp that you got and wrap your body in it this this is the tarp he brought down here he brought a napkin down here to cover this a napkin kenny right emmy it's napkin I size mean, that's because that's how you operate you either buy a napkin tarp or you buy like the world's biggest tarp Ew. ever oh, my hair instead is of just measuring things my hair and getting is the stuck. right size if you could just, bush. if you would just build me the right thing in the first place we wouldn't be yeah. here i'm not allowed without a permit it's not my fault i don't care was math you needed to understand math measuring i mean we we know you're not great at measuring but we, seriously are you freaking kidding me I'm why did you even bring this down uh, here because what? i i'm trying to check to see like how much of it, like how wide do we really need? I want to make sure that with the vertical space that it takes up. Do you know how like you could do that? You far... could measure the width and then you could measure up and down. Measure up and down and it would tell you the additional space. Then you why needed. didn't you measure before you bought a football field long tarp? 
because I wasn't at home when I bought the tarp, so I couldn't oh, measure. Oh, so you just buy things before you even know what you need? There's could, a surprise. We could use it for something else. Well, listen, what I'm going to do is just double check my, my measurements are okay. There's nothing wrong with that, woman. I mean, you're not cutting anything. It's a tarp. I'm going to cut you. <laughs> oh, I wish you would. <laughs> It doesn't need to go the whole way down. It needs to go the whole way down. Because Why? if rain is blowing sideways, then it gets it all wet. Rain doesn't fall sideways. Uh, rain falls sideways frequently. Uh, Do you want to, our you viewers fall from Alabama and Georgia and Texas and Florida to all comment in unison right now? Rain definitely goes sideways. And yeah, it went sideways I definitely, recently. Listen, that's why I put all those out there. So look. <sighs> Inadequate. Let's talk about inadequate for a minute. Hmm? Inadequate. This thing is massive. No joke. You're gonna be a fiddler someday But you better get to practicing for your old gray And your best years slip away We laughed and joked and skipped along the way I wondered if we'd ever be nostalgic for these days When we are old and gray There's one um, tie-down thing back there I can't do anything with because I don't have anything to tie it to. I can like put a string from one side to the other to keep it from lifting up and flying away. You see that? She just wanted attention. Right? She's all nice and calm now. If I stop she's just gonna start mouthing off. <laughs> if you are just feeling like us and you need a little distraction then Check out this little uh, list of videos down here. It'll keep you entertained at least and uh, get you through the night. Have a great day, folks. Bye. Felicia.